hey guys and welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of adobe after effects and with the help of simple tips and tricks and if you want to learn more about logo animation and other motion graphic stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920. Height is 180. Frame rate we are going to choose 30 second. Background is white color and duration is also 30 second. And simply hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and simply hit on Title Selection. Now I'm going to select my text tool and I'm going to type one text over here. And let's choose black color and I'm going to type Motion. You can choose any font you want i am going to choose this kind of font over here press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now press s for scaling option and scale the size somewhere around like this now select this and hit ctrl d select the second layer and first layer and hit ctrl d and let's bring them both of them at the top and let's hide this last layers now select this layer and let's type design over here copy this text select this second layer and type same text over here select both of these layers press ctrl alt home go to the align tab and choose align it horizontally and align it vertically and let's move all of them properly at the center like this okay now let's focus on this motion text now i'm going to select this layer press p for position create one keyframe let's go somewhere around four seconds and press v and we are going to move this layer from here to here like this and select this first layer and make it apparent with this second one i mean the fourth one now after that select both of these layers and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose and let's call it as motion now go inside this hit u and alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression over here so now what you are gonna get you will get this animation in continuous loop same procedure we will follow for this design text also select this second layer press p create one keyframe go to around four second press v and by holding shift i'm going to move this from here to here select this first layer and make it apparent with this second one alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it okay now we will get this in opposite direction now select both these layers and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as design and hit ok okay now select this design and let's bring this down select this motion and let's bring this up okay select both of these layers and let's bring this over here okay so we will get this kind of layer now press ctrl y to create one solid background and hit ok and let's bring this backward like this select all these three layers and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as uh, text animation and hit ok uh, hit ctrl d to duplicate it go to the effect and presets panel and search for cc cylinder effect and double click to apply so you will get something like this now decrease the radius of this layer somewhere around like this so we are gonna get this kind of structure over here now go to the shading options and we are going to increase the uh, ambient now select this and let's move this over here like this select this hit ctrl d and let's move one over here okay now over here uh, go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect and double click to apply and over here i'm going to swap this color or instead of that what you can do uh, instead of white color you can choose red color over here like this and instead of black you can choose white color or uh, let's say different color like this let's see which one is going to suit 
let's say for example this kind of color over here like this now copy this tint effect hit ctrl c select this layer and hit ctrl v like this you can swap this color or instead of that you can choose somewhere around like this okay and let's adjust the position adjust the position of this one okay like this now i'm going to select both of these layers right click go to the time and choose time reverse keyframe okay so we are gonna get something like this now uh, right click new and create one adjustment layer press s unlink this and let's decrease the adjustment layer up to this okay so let's make this 40 scale now select this apply uh, we are going to select this layer we'll copy this tint effect hit ctrl c select this layer hit ctrl v and we will bring this downwards like this then we will copy this adjustment layer by hitting ctrl d and we will move this adjustment layer over here we will delete this tint effect uh, we will select the first copy this tint effect select this and hit ctrl v okay so we are getting this kind of animation now select this first layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply and uh, increase the uh, distance to up to 20 let's make this 45 or let's say 90 and softness to 100 then uh, increase the opacity to 100 also and softness to 400 and let's increase the distance a little bit decrease the opacity somewhere around like this copy this drop shadow hit ctrl c select this hit ctrl v okay so we are gonna get this kind of animation now let's go to around four second because this is our looping point so i'll hit n over here now it will take a time a little bit to load but final output would be awesome uh, if you want then you can decrease the opacity up to 40 also because this looks quite weird okay yeah so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation let's see this in court resolution so it will animate a little bit faster okay so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation inside of after effects uh, and if you want uh, you can go inside this over here you can select your pen tool and from here to here you can create one stroke and choose black color and let's choose 10 pixels select this and let's move this over here uh, let's choose 4 pixels select this and move this over here ok so it will create something like this yeah so we will get this kind of animation